Man, what it do, what it do, y'all, what it do. Hey, man, it's always a blessing to be able to get on this internet and shut nothing but positive and productive, you know, situations at all time, right? But today, man, you know, I just want y'all to check out something, man. You know what I'm saying? And everybody always asking, why this? Why that? Why, bro? This here. Everybody always asking that, right? <laughs> well, let me tell y'all something. You must always respect anybody that's willing to stand up for what they believe in. Somebody that's willing to stand up for what they believe in, but most of all, willing to go to the extent of showing them that, hey, man, I'm not afraid. I face whoever in order for me to get my point across. I want to salute anybody that's like that. Not somebody that's just on the internet talking, but not doing no work in their community. See, that's what we got to start looking at. Who just doing talk on the internet, but ain't doing no work in the community? That's what I'm talking about. So check this out, man. I'm going to let y'all check this out. This at the city councilman. It's at the city council where they talking in front of the mayor, where they talking in front of the chiefs, where they letting them know that, hey, man, right is right and wrong is wrong. Right is right and wrong is wrong. But uh, I want y'all to check it out. I want y'all to check it out, man. I really want y'all to check it out, man, because the move that we make is very productive. And we're going to continue to make productive moves, homie. It's bigger than talking on the internet. It's about doing it in real life. Y'all get that? So y'all just check this out, man. And I'm going to get right back with y'all. And between whatever Charleston and the other officers got going, that's personal. But don't take, don't take Charleston from those kids because those kids need Charleston. And those kids need Officer Chuck Rogers also. I'm out. Appreciate the time. Thank you, Mr. Taylor. Our next speaker is Rebel Kenyon. Hello, this is it's my first time doing something like this. I'm kind of nervous, so you have to forgive me. But uh, when I heard about what happened to Charles Rogers, uh, I had to come up and uh, give my opinion or let my voice be heard because I've been knowing Charles Rogers for over 30 some years. Uh, uh, oh, I say that he's not made. I mean, you can have, y'all might disagree with me, but you can have the special training, but it doesn't necessarily make you a good police officer because you have the necessary training. You know, and for those that's, um, familiar with the Bible or that read the Bible, you know, the Bible is all about righteous and unrighteous, a positive and a negative, a good and bad. So you can't have one without the other. And Charles Rogers is that positive. He is that righteousness. You know, and he's uh, just an excellent guy. Um, we, speak, we speak on a daily basis and prior to uh, February the 14th when we were talking, he was just excited about getting involved and, you know, being kids and, you know, actually being a part of something. And uh, he would tell me, he, he told me, he said, man, you know, my mom, you know, she instilled this in me and she would be so proud of me if she knew what it was that I was doing. So, you know, Charles is just an excellent guy and uh, it's disappointing to see what's going on. And I think that the Fort Worth Police Department is in a crucial point right now because we have a choice or y'all have a choice to pave the way you know, for the rest of the nation and to correct, you know, the right or the wrong that that's being done, you know, to put our egos aside and do the right thing for the kids' sake. Um, I take it that we're all God-fearing people, you know, and we say that, but when it's, come, when it's time to do God's will, you know, we turn our back on God for man. And when we sit and we're on our backs, then we want to come pray to God and ask God to heal us and come help us. And it doesn't work like that. He turned his back on us because we didn't do his will. So we are in a position. Y'all know 
I don't have access to files, but I know Chuck. He's an upstanding guy, always doing the right thing. I ride for him. I ride with Charles for White. Those guys, you know, regardless of what he do and what he say, I'm sorry, regardless of what he say, I'm looking at what he's doing. He's speaking the truth. Charles is against the bad guys, and I'm for that. Hey, thank you for hearing me. Thank you for coming. Our next speaker is Jim DeLong. Good evening, I'm Jim DeLong, a resident of Fort Worth since 1993, and proud to be so. Uh, tonight I want to talk about uh, human nature, but before I do, I remember when I went to a task force on race and culture monthly meeting and they had the sheriff, the county sheriff come and talk, and he made a startling statistic. 80% of people in our county jail are from fatherless homes. And you know, there's something, you can never take the place of a father, but we can sure uh, help young men and women have a father figure in their life. Back to human nature. Uh, the media reveals a lot about human nature. Bad news sells, good news doesn't. And that says a lot about basic human nature. Each one of us, within each one of us, is the propensity to do good and the propensity to do not so good. And it's a choice. Every day I make tens or hundreds of choices of whether to do good or not. And uh, it's easy to complain. It's easy to uh, find fault to demean and belittle. It takes more effort and character to build up and to encourage. Uh, Mayor, I remember years ago, I had a meeting with Mayor Price and you were chief of staff. We were sitting in her office and uh, uh, I posed a question. I office and uh, I pose the question, this is the kind of optimist I am. There might not even be a vapor of water in that glass and it's running over. That's a perspective. We have major challenges in our city. How we go about solving them, if we go about solving them, uh, tearing down systems instead of building them up, Fomenting, uh, wow, fomenting division and sectarianism, putting people down instead of calling them up. The point is this. We live in a day that magnifies our differences and doesn't celebrate and amplify those that we have in common. You, as our city council, can step up to the plate in a greater dimension. And let's work on the positive. Let's work on how we can bring people together, not discuss what is separating us. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. DeLong. Our last speaker is Charleston White. Oh, this has... Uh, I remember being given permission by the Fort Worth Police Department to sell marijuana in this city. I never applied for any federal grant money, right? So I never needed you guys to help me feed children. I went to the streets, we sold drugs, we got the whores coming out of Tanner Road, whatever we needed to do to keep you guys out of our business. So when I get a call from Officer Charles Rogers, he says, hey, can you help me get some guys that will volunteer to come into the middle school? I already know you guys are gonna play politics, right? Because I infiltrated your police department and stole a lot of information. And so you guys try to keep me out of things, but the community keeps doing When you guys push me down, this is what the community does. They push me right back in front of y'all faces. Now I have a national audience. So let me tell you about Officer Rogers. I was in a strip club one night and Officer Rogers, I contacted the NAACP president 
I contacted U.S. Department of Homeland Security Special Agent Keith Owens for the Human Trafficking Division, and I called Charles Rogers about 1 o'clock in the morning with music playing and strippers around me. And we rescued that lady the next day. Officer Tracy Carter involved himself in that and interfered just like he's interfering now. It wasn't until we put together a group of men, 19 other men, myself including 20, we went to a struggling black business in Arlington, Texas, because Fort Worth don't support what we do. We supported this business. She made thousands of dollars that day because we advertised it and promoted her business on social media. We put together a program, invited Officer Snyder, found out he's not a racist white cop, he's a Detroit boy, just works for a racist police department, so he gets a bad rap with the children. We're gonna teach these children that this is a good man. Well, how do you know they're good? Do they feel bad when they do wrong? Do they feel bad when they do wrong? So here we go, the police department interferes and says, hey, he's on a video with Charleston with 19 other men in a community event doing gang intervention and prevention. You guys pay a lot of money for the VIP program that the uh, Kelly Alley Ray put together. We don't need you guys funding, but we got the manpower that the VIP program doesn't have, right? So I'm doing something that I've never done before. I'm standing against the police department. You guys have never seen me do that, never. It's easy to hate now because you guys are interfering with children's lives. It's easy to spread the narrative that we hate y'all. F the police, because I see it's not about kids, it's about your politics. That's the last of our speakers this evening. Meeting adjourned. I just had another question. Um, I haven't talked to Jesse in a while. I don't want to take a That nigga just walked out of here. There he go right there. Oh, okay. I'll see what's Yeah, you saw my part. Yeah, dude. I got another podcast I got to get to, man. Uh, okay. Yeah, go talk to that nigga okay. and get my number. Yeah. Yeah, no, you ain't shit. Yeah. No, you got an open investigation against Tracy Carter for using a racial slur. 37 pages. I can't wait till the trial hit. Okay. Now that everybody got the opportunity to hear that, not only just hear Charles to speak, but also to hear other people that speak highly about what Charles is doing in the community, homie. See, this is what I keep on preaching to everybody, and I keep on saying this over and over again. Say, man, it's about the work that you're doing in your community, homie. It's about the work that you're doing outside of the internet. See, everybody want to get on the internet and run their mouth. But nobody want to get out here and do the real work. Not tell everybody, ask your big homie. What, when the last time he stood up for something that was right? Ask your OG, when was the last time they stood up for something that was right? You hear me? See, we got to start changing the narrative. We got to start showing the people that at the end of the day, we got to move the right way. We got to move the right way. You can't move with real. Got to move with actions. So with everybody sitting on the back, everybody sitting in the back on the sideline, cheerleading and doing everything and just hoping that nothing, that nothing comes out good about this situation. Well, let me tell y'all something. One person that got all of the answers and that nobody could never stop. It's called God, homie. Huh? Y'all know what God is? Exactly. It's up above. That's watch over us every day. So can't nothing stop the goodwill. That's the reason why everything that's starting to come our way is supposed to come our way because of the productive thing that we're doing in real life. In real life. So everybody that's sitting around looking at this, y'all go subscribe, go share. Go push. Go show them what it's like to stand up for what you believe in. Not just in front of your homies, but guess what? Do it on the national stage. In front of the people that's making the law. In front of the people that's breaking the laws. Let who willing to do that? Huh? I'm going to wait. That's what I mean. 
when I say it's time to stand up, homie. It's time to stand up. Not just when it's time to destroy each other. It's time to stand up when it's time to make a change, homie. Yeah. And again, listen. We didn't ask for a dollar from the community. We didn't ask for a dollar. So, therefore, you got a program that's getting paid. Salute to you, my guy. Keep up the good work. But don't knock nobody that's just doing it from their heart, homie. I'm going to leave y'all with that. Go subscribe. Go like. Quality game going to beat every game. Gang related, not gang related. The new gang related, not gang related. Podcast. Go subscribe. And let's keep it pushing.